you once said that your career was going fine and then Jim Cornette started <laughs> to manage you. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to give us some Jim Cornette stories, no, maybe from TNA yeah. from yeah. Memphis. I, I, told, I told Jim that. I said, Jim, I had a good career then I met you. <laughs> of course, he laughed. Well, the story about Cornette that everybody tells is his hatred for Vince Russo. Mm -hmm. And I was in TNA, and uh, I think we, we, Russo wasn't there, or he had gone home. I think this was after, I don't know. But he wasn't there. <clears throat> we were doing okay. We were doing great, really. And then Jeff, Jared, and him and his daddy and Dixie Carter, they all own shares in TNA. And Jeff got it in his head. He wanted to bring in Cornette, which I thought was a great idea. Jeff's very good. I mean, uh, Jimmy is pretty good at figuring out stuff backstage. Knows how to get heat. Because he, he's a student of the business. So is Jeff, so am I. I think to be in this business, you have to be somewhat of a student of it until I quit studying it. Hmm. So he came in, and he was there about two months. And then Vince, and I like Vince because he, he, he's a hard worker. He just has a, he has, you know, there's some people who don't have any ideas. Vince has too many. <laughs> he does. He has a, he has a thousand ideas. And I think Vince's problem is he doesn't know how to regulate them. And if he has an idea, he'll throw it on top of another idea in, 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 in the same match, which is, I mean, you're, you're, you're beating a dead horse here. So you can't take this match and make it a, th uh, make it a lumberjack match, then put, you know, barbed wire around it, and then throw something else on top, exploding bombs. He would throw it all together. So anyway... Jimmy came in, and then I heard that Vince Russo was coming in. So Jeff asked me, he says, God, we got to tell Jimmy. I said, you want me to tell him? He says, do you mind? I said, well, yeah, fuck yeah, I mind. <laughs> but I'll tell him. If... So I said, Jimmy, come here a minute. Let me talk to you. He sat down. He said, yeah, what is it? And, you know, when somebody called you over and said, hey, can we talk? And they sit down. You know, it's like pretty, it's pretty serious. Mm -hmm. I says, <clears throat> I just got to tell you something. I want you to know so you won't get caught, you know, blindsided by this. But Vince Russo is coming back in. Anyway, I quit. He quit on the spot. I says, Jimmy, don't quit. Please don't quit. I, it'll work. It'll work. I'm trying to, and I don't know if it'll work or not. That's just what I was saying. I'm just trying to calm him down and then I went and told Jeff I says well he quit no he didn't I said well I guess I'm a liar yeah he quit he's probably he's going to leave he's, not, he's leaving tomorrow morning he's, he's going to finish today and he's going to quit so Jeff went over there and I don't know what they talked about but Jimmy Jimmy ended up staying but it was and I actually kept them like apart for a while because I didn't want them to overlap and it worked for a while. And then it worked till it didn't. Let me say that. How, how long was it before they even would go in the same room or even talk to each other? Well, they had to go in the same room in the morning. It was, it was the production room. So that's where we would go in there and we would talk about, you know, the show and who had interviews and who was going to handle what. So we had to all get together in the morning about 10 o'clock and, but they never had, they never really crossed each other's path for the rest of the day. <clears throat> That's the way Jimmy said he wanted it. That's the way I think Vince preferred it. He didn't say he wanted it that way, but I think he preferred it. And there's a lot of uh, long standing animosity between Jimmy and Vince. So, and I don't think it'll ever leave Jimmy because Jimmy still hates him. And Vince, I think, you know, he, he just went on. So, but to me, I told Jimmy, Jimmy, it's not healthy to really have that much dislike for another guy that, you know, sometimes you have to work with. <clears throat> I said, because, I don't know, I think the tension, and Jimmy has high blood pressure anyway. And when he goes off, brother, it's like a volcano erupting. 
Now, he's never gone off on me, but I've seen him go off on other people. I go, I just sit back in the corner and go, oh, God, here we go again. And I love, I love Jimmy to death. But I understand how he is, and I understand what drives him. So, see, I was the first guy that uh, Jimmy ever managed hmm. in, in, in Memphis. Here's a, here's a trivia question. Who was the first person he ever managed? Oh, it's not the Galaxians or something. Um, that was a woman. Pretty good. Ah, oh, damn. Um, it, I don't think it was like Lil Annie Kai or something, but I can't remember. Sherry Martell. Sherry Martell. That was a, the first one he ever managed. But nobody much knows that trivia question. But and I and should he get half a point at least for that. Yeah, you do to get a point. That's very good. <laughs> 